the market demand strategy is a market demand strategy. What does that mean? It means that uh, the investments that Transnet makes, they have to be in line with the market. We will make investments uh, in line with what the market requires. Our view is that some of those investments that were going to be made inside that period uh, may be deferred. But when you defer something, it does not mean that you have stopped. It means you continue, but the period in which uh, you, you do it might fall outside. Why is that? Because it's a market demand strategy. Um, for instance, uh, our iron ore um, customers indicate to us that at the current commodity prices, um, they are unable to try and increase to the 82 million tons that we had wanted to do. So in line with market demand and market expectations, uh, that might be slightly deferred. So what we've done during the uh, tough economic cycle is we've gone into our entire capital portfolio and had discussions with our customers um, to ensure that we still provide the capacity ahead of demand, but time it correctly. So if it might have happened in year five, and now it's going to happen in year eight, we then start looking at a 10 year horizon for MDS going forward. And that's exactly what customers are looking for. The reason it's 10 years is the expectations from a commodity pricing point of view is that the commodities will bottom out uh, in 2016 and start rebounding from about 26, uh, 2017, 2018 onwards. And the market experts feel that the commodity prices will see the levels of 2011, 2012 pricing only within the next 10 years. So a lot of the uh, large organizations are having a 10-year outlook, and so does Transnet, and we believe that we will invest between that 340 and 380 billion. And as Mr. Garner has highlighted, if you take the full uh, MDS spend into account, having already spent 108.9 <coughs> excuse me, to, to September, and we expect to spend about 125 billion up to the end of this year over the MDS period, that would mean that Transnet would have invested between 465 and 505 billion rand into the economy. 